There are two types of Cameroonians. There are Francophones and Anglophones who are Cameroonians. And there are Cameroonians who are Francophones and Anglophones. When you look down on a brother and you call them Les Anglophones, or you call yourself Ambazonia, you are a Francophone or an Anglophone who is a Cameroonian. Those who have been able to hold this nation together for the past 63 years, in spite of the challenges, those are Cameroonians who are Francophones and Anglophones. I'm a Cameroonian first, and I'm an Anglophone second. We are at that stage in our evolution that are called an inflection point. That critical point in life where if you pivot, to the right direction we will strike gold this is that time where we rise up let history fall behind us let the future inspire us talent exported abroad that would have been utilized to enhance our nation the question every Cameroonian should ask themselves how long will this last is this strategy sustainable is this strategy effective? We have been doing this for 60 plus years. How has it been working for us? This is time to pivot. The responsibility to make that nation great is lies in your hands. Yes, you. You the average Cameroonian. You the barber. You the farmer. You the trader. You the taxi driver. You who owns a travel agency, you who runs that hotel, who runs that supermarket, the responsibility to build that nation lies in your hands. And the direction that you take based on your creativity and ingenuity will determine the outcome of that nation. The 2025 election is amazing, but I want to let you know the 2025 election will not save you. You have to get to the place where you understand that what we are building right here at CSDP, we are transforming the mindset of our nation. We are igniting a new spirit among Cameroonians. And this energy, when you go out there and you create businesses and create companies, you will transfer this new ethics to your children and your children's children. And with this, regardless of who is president, Cameroonians will thrive. This movement is the biggest movement this nation has ever seen in the past 63 years. Cameroonians will speak English and French coming together for economic prosperity. There are a lot of negative things in the world. There's a lot of terrible things that are happening all over the world, all the time. Uh, there are lots of problems that need to get solved. There's lots of things that are yeah, they're miserable and kind of get you down. But the, life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need, to be, there need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. It is time to go forth, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. That makes me glad to be alive. I, I hope you feel the same way. Approximately 62% of Cameroonians are 0 to 24 years of age. Approximately 40% of Cameroonians are between the age of 15 to 65. And only 3.5% of Cameroonians are above the age of 65. The life expectancy of the average Cameroonian is 60 to 61. Only 3.5% of Cameroonians are 65 plus in that nation. 97% of the country cannot depend on 3.5% who are above the age of 65 to build the Cameroon we want to see. We've been told that if you want to build, you have to destroy the legacy of the elders. But I'm saying we are standing on the shoulders of giants. 
We believe that great people make a great nation and not the other way around. Our intention is to build great people, understanding that these great individuals will go on to build a great nation. In 30 years, China moved their GDP to approximately 17 trillion US dollars. And they do not speak English. We do speak English in this country. That is a plus. There are multiple markets that we can explore in Africa. That is a plus. Why? Because we speak English and we speak French. We can tap into the French markets in Africa. We can tap into the English markets in the Africa. And that is the opportunity that we have as Cameroonians. If Cameroon will become great, we need self-government. Every Cameroonian adopting individual responsibility to make that nation great. Our organization is the Cameroon Sustainable Development Project, CSDP. We call ourselves nation builders. We believe that great people make a great nation and not the other way around. If Cameroon will experience prosperity, it is up to us, the people. We, the people. And that is what the government for, by, and of the people is all about. We are Cameroonians that have a government and not a government that has Cameroonians. A group of sheep led by a lion will always be better than a group of lions led by a sheep. Our economic plan is very simple. We intend to train 3,000 Cameroonians in the seven industries that are transforming the global economy. These Cameroonians will go on to create jobs that will employ fellow Cameroonians and take our country out of poverty and obscurity. This is a 20 years project moving our GDP from 45 billion US dollars to 1 trillion US dollars through the private sector. 90% of the jobs in America is created by the private sector. We, the people, agriculture, IT, real estate and construction, finance, healthcare, renewable energy, the media and entertainment sector. If Cameroonians can be trained in this industry and we model a nation like America that has achieved the highest standard of human excellence in these industries. In the next 20 years, we can move our nation forward. We believe in peace, unity, freedom, and prosperity for all Cameroonians. That is the future that we see. Regardless of the language you speak, regardless of the tribe that you come from, Regardless of your socioeconomic background, you can call Cameroon home. We will build it respectfully. We have to respect our elders in the process. We have to respect our leaders in the process of doing so. The reason why many people face challenges when they want to obstruct the status quo is because they want to challenge the leaders in authority. But I'm saying you can cooperate with the leaders in authority to bring about that change. It is perspective and communication. How you articulate your perspective. Showing the elders that this will create a better Cameroon for everyone, including them in power. That is the kind of Cameroon I see. Dream big. Believe in yourself. Trust in God. Understand that if it ought to be, it's up to you. Work hard. Be determined. Never sleep on your dreams. Believe that you were created for something great in this life. You are not a nobody. You are somebody. And this is the spirit that I want to ignite in every Cameroonian who is ambitious and want to see that nation become great. If we develop industries, build our economy, Take initiative. We can increase the life expectancy of the average Cameroonian. The life expectancy of the average American is 78 years old. 
That means the average American will live 18 years longer than the average Cameroonian. And we can change this narrative through quality food, quality health care system, affordable housing, systems that work, systems that enhance the quality of lives of every Cameroonian. It is very clear that what we have been doing has not been working for us. We have to be able to pivot and adopt what works. The Jewish people have become extremely successful in every nation where they find themselves, in spite of who is president, because of that collective belief in one another. Collective belief in God. Collective belief in productivity. Collective belief in technology. The collective belief in possibilities. We have been collectively depending on the government for our entire existence. This is time to change that narrative. It is very critical that we understand that unity is very essential for our own progress. It is very important that we understand that we have to set aside our differences and unite for a compelling goal that moves us, that inspires us, that we wake up every morning and feel alive, feel energetic. The world is a much more better place because of our aspirations to build the kind of Cameroon we want to see. With the technology that we have at our disposal, we, the people, can build the Cameroon that we want to see. As we adopt individual responsibility with collective action on a common goal that unites and fosters development, that is the Cameroon I see. A Cameroon where Cameroonians who speak English and French hold hands together and work together for the common good. We can learn. Cameroonians are smart. Cameroonians are intelligent. Trust in the process. That is the consciousness that I awake in every Cameroonian in this dispensation. For every Hamas member that you kill, how many did you create? Mm -hmm. And if you create more than you kill, you've not succeeded. That's the, you know, the real situation there. Um, and it's safe to say that if, you know, um, if you know, if if you kill somebody's child in Gaza, you've you've, you've made at least a few uh, Hamas members who will die just 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 to kill an Israeli. Now, regardless of the nation that you left from to Cameroon, you can be able to partake in that Cameroon dream. That you are welcomed, and Cameroon has a place for you. That is the Cameroon I see. That is the Cameroon I believe in. That is the Cameroon that we should aspire to build in this generation. The Cameroon dream. Hope for the future. See something better. Walk out of your community. Walk into your neighborhood and into the communities. And where everybody sees gloom, see opportunity. Problems are opportunities. Opportunities for development. Opportunities for creativity. Opportunities to become better, to become great. To think out of the box to think creatively to think productively problems are opportunities and as you look at your nation at this particular point when everybody sees gloom where everybody sees failure you step out there and you see opportunities everywhere that is what made america great when the early settlers came over here it was just farmland but they saw something here and they went on to build something here we all aspire to travel here and i want to say when you look at cameroon and everybody sees gloom sees nothing sees broken people sees dead people i want you to look at that same cameroon and see possibilities see skyscrapers see hospitals see good roads see factories See companies, see children enjoying a better life because we the people built it. Take responsibility for the development of your nation. Collective responsibility for the development of your nation in the private sector. We cannot depend on our fathers 65 years plus 
to build the Cameroon that we want to see. This is time for us to help them. This is time for us to work with them. This is time for us to collaborate with the elders. This message is for Cameroonians who believe that we can achieve peace, unity, freedom, and prosperity in Cameroon without violence. Problems are opportunities. As you produce products and services to solve the problems within your community, that is how you become prosperous. That through hard work, through determination, devotion, service, love for your nation, patriotism, nationalism, we can be able to foster that spirit of unity that creates an ecosystem that produces goods and services that go on to enhance the quality of life for every Cameroonian. That is the Cameroon we see. We are tired of the history. We want a compelling vision for the future. The Cameroon we see is the Cameroon where Cameroonians that speak English and French are united for a compelling goal. This is the biggest movement we've seen in this nation for the past 63 years. Cameroonians who speak English and French coming together for economic prosperity, coming together for development, coming together to move the nation forward, that in the next 20 years we can become the first first world nation in Africa. This dream is possible. The dream might be crazy, but why do we exist if we will not dream crazy dreams? It's free to dream big. Why do you choose to dream small? In this generation, we are choosing to adopt what works and not what we know. We are choosing the future over the past. We are choosing to adopt systems that will enhance the quality of lives of every Cameroonian, both home and abroad. In this generation, my hope is that in the next five years, we will have the highest number of Cameroonians in the diaspora coming back home to develop that nation. That we are going to build a nation where if a Cameroonian is given an option to travel abroad or stay back home, they will choose to stay back home and only visit abroad for convenience. That is the Cameroon that I see. We will build from here moving forward. We will make it better. We will enhance it. We will transform it. We will expand it. We will globalize it. We will bring in technological innovation and make things better. We have to let go of our history if we want to embrace our destiny. That is the Cameroon I see. That is the future that I believe in. That is the Cameroon dream. That there is equal opportunities in this nation for every Cameroonian, regardless of your socioeconomic background. That we change the narrative of traveling abroad. Traveling abroad is not just to come back with a house and a car so that everybody in the community sees you and understand that you too have made it. But no, traveling abroad is an initiative to come back with ideas that changes our communities, that bring about businesses and development. That is the initiative of traveling abroad. And I want to make it very clear that no one is coming to do it for us. The government will not do it for us. Western nations will not do it for us. We have to do it for ourselves. And that is the kind of Cameroon I see. That is the Cameroon dream. That is what the Cameroon Sustainable Development Project is all about. Enhancing the private sector transforming our country through the private sector. 97% of the nation cannot wait for 3.5% of the population to take care of the rest of us. That narrative has to shift, and that is the paradigm shift that we need 
to take if we want to see this Cameroon dream become a reality. Look at our brothers traveling abroad, dying in the Sahara Desert because they are in search of greener pastures. We will stop anyone who tries to divide us. We will stop anyone that tries to make us think that we are different. We will stop anyone who highlights our differences instead of what we have in common. As a Cameroonian, I want to let you know, regardless of the language you speak, we have more in common. We are black people in this beautiful nation. We can make Cameroon a place where we can call home. And that is the future I see. That is the Cameroon I see. We have extremely smart Cameroonians. Don't let anybody fool you. You are smart, you're talented, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you are amazing. You are okay. God created you just the way you are for the task that he created you for. You are enough. And this is time for you to take action and build that nation in your own small way. Everyone was not given equal talent. Some were given five, some were given three, and some were given one. Whatever gift you have, make sure that you utilize that gift to the best of its potential. That is the Cameroon we see. All right, if you like this video, you're gonna like this other episode and you can watch it by clicking right here.